Hello, and welcome to lab. Here at MIT, safety is our first and foremost concern. So before we take off into the world of discovery and innovation, let's take a minute to discuss lab codes to keep yourself safe on your journey. For science! As a policy, MIT requires that all individuals working in labs wear lab coats when dealing with the following. Hazardous materials, unsealed radioactive materials, and biological agents greater than bio-level safety too. We hate to break the bad news, but despite your faith in your skin, it turns out it's not the best barrier protection when it comes to the laboratory. While skin is generally impermeable, that does not make it impenetrable. Luckily, modern science has managed to come up with a solution to this problem. The lab coat. The lab coat serves as a removable barrier in case of hazardous substance spills, small splashes, and incidental contact. But the world doesn't revolve around you, and part of wearing a lab coat is to protect others, and to protect from the spread of contaminants to the outside of lab. While a lab coat is always a must, not all lab coats are created equal, and there is certainly not one lab coat to rule them all. Lab coats come in a variety of shapes, styles, and sizes, so find what is best for your situation. Base your selection on the type of hazards you're likely to encounter in lab. Considerations like these include flammability, pyrophoric protection, and radiation protection. Other features are also available, such as snap buttons and elastic cuffs. Most importantly, always ensure a proper fit to prevent unnecessary risk. For anyone who's never put on a shirt, here's how putting on a lab coat works. Slip one of your arms through the appropriate armhole. Bring the jacket around your back. Place your other arm through the opposite armhole and pull the collar around your neck. One by one, then button up the buttons in whatever order you prefer, making sure that the lab coat is fully buttoned before use. Congrats! While lab coat can help avoid most exposures, it's also critical that you keep in mind any other appropriate PPE you might need for your application such as goggles, face shields, gloves, or a bat. Well, maybe not that. It's also important that you make sure you're wearing the appropriately clothes underneath your lab coat. Sorry, Walter White, this is a real lab. To protect your legs and feet from splashes, spills, and shrapnel, closed-toed shoes and long pants are strongly suggested. In the event that your lab coat gets soiled, it should be treated as contaminated waste removed immediately, and washed or discarded. In the rare event of a fire, immediately stop, drop, and roll. If someone else catches fire or has an incident in the lab, assist them by smothering with a fire blanket or directing them to a safety shower in case of chemical exposure. As always, EHS is happy to help with any and all questions regarding lab coats. From what the policies are in your department regarding lab coats, to what sort of lab coat is appropriate for your applications. For more information on how to get a lab coat, visit SmartBuy. See you in lab!